everyone and welcome back to Wicked Art. It's Wicked here and it is Fun Draw Friday. Now I got a prompt last week from a viewer to do Naruto uh, in my style. This time I want to do actually my favorite character from Naruto which is Gaara. Uh, yeah the ninja master of sand. Okay, so we're just going to draw a nice little uh, image of Gara today. Uh, so thanks for coming. And we are going to get started. So I'm going to start with, let's see, let's move down a little bit. I'm going to start down here. And I'm going to start with a circle on my head. And we're just going to loosely build him up. Okay. So... I'm going to kind of try and bring down, so I want him to kind of be looking down at the ground, we're kind of looking down at him. So I'm just going to build the head up that way, just for now. Obviously, we we'll be making some adjustments if we need to. Okay. And then with the nose shape in place, and then come down with the face. And we'll go this way. And we'll start building out our head. And like I said, we'll make some adjustments to it uh, to even it out. I just want to get the base of everything in first. So I'm going to work in my ear. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm going to kind of just rough out the body. Okay. Kind of come from the back here and work the back in. Let's get a little bit of muscle here. And we'll kind of come out this way. Try to work in the shoulders. Like this. And it's depending on how I want my head. So I want to bring chest down a little bit really have that come into a shoulder this way okay. and then let's see let's fix this we'll come down this way more. Come this way. I want to kind of get like almost like a trap type look to it. For the trap pieces. And we might be just running that issue because I might be making things a little bit too bulky. So like here, we could probably cut this down some more. More like that. Okay. So we have ourselves a nice shape like this. And then I'm going to start from this area. And build out my shoulder muscles. Again, I want to take those in.
chest. Let's just build out. He's kind of a like the rest of the cast of Naruto. He's not like super buff, so we can kind of keep him a little bit more on the gangly side. Let's see, let's kind of round this a little bit more here. Like that. And I kind of put my hands probably more on my hips here. Just like he's standing and waiting. Uh, let's come down here to where the elbow would be. And we're going to work that forearm down. So we want to kind of come out and go this way. And as that comes down, we can curve the hand out. And just make some adjustments from there. She probably started with the outside to begin with. I'm going to pull our thumb out this way. Maybe shorten this up a little bit. It's going to come back and just let's round it more towards the top here. Okay. So we have that. Let's do... Got our hips here, we're gonna come out like down this way for the pelvic region. And kind of gain that shape for the thigh here. Just building up. Um, I just want to kind of, because I'm trying to use this to kind of build up the roundness of the leg itself. That way, get the rear part of the body where it needs to be. And we'll kind of curve down off of that. Thigh, we can kind of bring it around again. Yes. And back here on our knee, we want calf shape. And get my knee down. Around that just a little bit less here. And like I said, we're going to put clothes on them and stuff, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to get my shapes all set up. Okay, so I'm going to come out here and get this foot shape in. Like that. I could probably pull back on this a little. And then just kind of barely come in that way. And then back here. You know, we can build out what's left of the leg that we can see. So like that calf down in there. And then bring out that foot shape. And 
go that way. So see how it kind of looks like we're standing at an angle now? Okay. So I want to take these shoulders. I'm going to take our back this way. All right. Once I've done that and reached this part, that's where I'm going to kind of come in and fix some of this area. So we want a little bit of muscle here. Like this. Kind of go up that way. And then for this back part, you know, we would have that other shoulder come down. And then a little bit of a tricep here. And have our elbow turn our arm back. So now that we have that set up, we can move on to the next step of putting the clothes and things like that on them uh, in order to really start building them out. So that's what we're going to do next. All right, so what I want to do now, is, like I said, start adding in those details. I also want to kind of look at, you know, where I want to position things. So, you know, even though this is still kind of in, kind of in my style a little bit, I do want to stay true with the character. Um, but I don't want to do like the new outfit. I want to do like his old one that he had like when they first met him. So we're going to kind of keep the hair and the eyes the same. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go ahead and start working the eyes. Okay. So like when we look at Gara, he has almost like this black paint or black eye tattoo going on so like inside of that because he doesn't have the eyebrows on his face so I'm gonna go ahead and just draw that in but I'm going to thicken the areas so almost like doing like like spider-man a little bit we're gonna kind of thicken that area around the eye And make that black there. And we're going to make him looking up at us. So I'm going to draw the eye looking up here in that port. Um, the next thing I want to do is like start thinking about the hair. So just kind of drawing in, you know, how that would look from this angle. And again, keep in mind, this is adapted into my style of drawing. So we're going to curve that out. Bring this down the head just a little bit more. And then come off the front here and go back. And then clean up inside right here. Pass that under. I'm going to switch back to this part here because I want to get that part, like uh, the hair that comes out from underneath the neck. And have that come out. That way. And then we have that portion of the hair uh, where 
like I'm sure many of you get with the uh, calic. So that part that's just right there at the top of the back part of the head. So I'm going to kind of make it turn a little. That way. And then just continue it out over here. Like that. So I'm just going to erase out. And just look at what we have. Reconnect any lines that I may have erased on accident. But yeah, we got the baseline for the hair there. Uh, now here on the eye, on this side, since we can't really see it, I am going to thicken up this edge here. And draw like a little circle out that way. Okay, then I can come in here and do the ear. And then kind of poke out that end like that. Okay. So now we have the basis for the head. I am going to go into the jawline here and kind of stretch that out, erase that back. And then like here with the chin, I'm going to make a little bit of a lip come out here. And then for the nose, Just kind of straighten it more right here in that area. And get that little bit of a nostril right there. Okay. So now I can start doing things like adding in the clothes. So Gara has this uh, like a sash wrap that goes around his body. The main one comes from this front side over here. So I can bring that kind of down this way from the chest here. And then we can use this part here to kind of give us a line close to the body. And then bring it out again. Okay, so I'm going to just follow that sash down, come over the top, and just stop here. And bring that down. Okay, so that's just going to do the sash on that side. The other half kind of comes out this way from the chest. And we'll just work its way back. Across the back this way. Okay, same thing here. Just kind of make it come out. And follow the back going this way. So I can get rid of that shoulder line here, the chest line right here. And again, we can kind of give the wrap an edge.
and put those little folds in there. And I can erase out this back line here. Clean that up a little bit more. Okay. And then we can get this edge fold here and just have that meet right in there. Okay, so we have that little bit of a sash. And then he has this kind of a gothic look, if you will, where it's a, it's kind of like a mesh material. Kind of comes down over his arm. So we can have that come out. And it's going to be tight on his skin, but I still want to come out into the arm more like a sleeve. So we'll still have that arm definition there. But I'm just giving it more of like a wrapped look, like it's coming, his arms are coming out of the uh, the actual sleeve itself. So we're gonna go ahead and draw the edge here. Okay. And then I want that mesh piece to show through. So we can kind of erase back the shoulder line just a tad. And then for the mesh itself, we can just pick a direction and then switch and go back the other direction. So now it looks like it's an open part of the uh, the back itself. Now with the sash I want to kind of come around this way and overlap and then have a small portion of it here come out and then I'm gonna make this come out just a little bit more to look like it's also wrapped around his back as well. Okay. Now the other signature thing that Gara has, you know, obviously the rest of the body, but we want that um, giant like urn type thing that he has on his back uh, that he carries his sand in. So the first thing I can do is kind of sketch out a circle for the top half. Okay, and then that kind of curves down into the bottom half. Like that. Okay, then we have, of course, the wrap that's holding it to his back. So we want to bring that in there. And then I'm going to split that right underneath this half of the circle that goes down. And we'll just clean that up. And then I can come in and do things like add in the wrap lines so I can split them up, show a little unevenness to it, just to break it up some so it's not all just straight lines. I really just loved Garrett from that, that sinister look that he has. Um, now the one thing I can do now is we won't see this back elbow anymore so I can erase everything inside of that area. Then what I want to do is come in we'll come in on the top to make the lid part.
like that. All right, and then we can kind of make the top of the lid here. We'll have the top opened so that the sand can come out. So I'm going to kind of have a small opening here. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually expand this and just round it a little bit more. It's looking a little too egg-like. Okay. And then we'll come back to the finer details on that later. Right now I want to finish up the rest of the body. So right here on the sash we're going to have his um, kind of like a little side strapped satchel. It's also got his uh, like clan tag on it. Um, so we can keep this line work here for just you know the wrinkle in the clothes. Um, but we're gonna clear out this part here and just use this. Okay. And now I can come in and we can make the straps that go they go back underneath the arm and come around the front. So this is like the lower half part. So this is just going to extend back this way under the arm. Like that. So again, that's a strap, so I can't see through that, so I shouldn't see that cloth there. And then we're going to come in here and add the clasp on there. All right, so that's just one hook connected on there. I can come down to erase this line. We'll bring it back. But I can give it a nice fine close edge here. Give it a little bit more depth. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is make one more. Okay, it's going to be a shorter strap. This one's going to come this way. Again, I can erase the line on the inside there. I'm going to make the second clasp here. Bring that around. Okay, and now we have our strap on there. So same thing as before. I want to kind of erase this back a little bit so I can take my line back and I can just reconnect that right there. All right, so we can set those kind of grooves in there. Um, then he's got his uh, headband right here. So we can draw that in. Okay, and that would have like the sand symbol on it and whatnot. So that kind of going to come out on the bottom this way. And we can just connect that off there. All right, and then we just want those little subtle details on the strap itself or the little satchel that's on the side okay so now we're going to work our way down right to the rest of the outfit so we already have our pants out here but we want to kind of tuck the cloth okay I also want to come out and get the like a little pocket on the side this way okay we can put a little circle in there for that and we're just going to kind of bring that out 
add a little something to it there. Okay, Let's separate that a little bit. Okay, so now I have that. I can come out from this back part because we want a little bit of bagginess in the pants that he's wearing. Okay, so as that expands out to the bottom, we want those areas to kind of poof out a little bit, if you will. So we can kind of have that come out and curve this out that way more. Okay. So now that I'm working the pants out, I know I want to come down towards the bottom of the feet here. We want to have, because he has those ankle wraps and stuff, so we want to kind of cut it off right here and just have that come up into the knees that way so I can erase those lines back all right and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this opposite side I'm just gonna come up a little bit just thinning that out. And let's do a bend in the pants that way. Okay. So now we have the pants on this side done. I think what I want to do though is I want to bring this part out a little bit more like that give a little bit more thickness to it okay now I'm going to want to do the same thing on this side come out with the pants and bring that up Just have that kind of cut off uh, back into that like that okay so now that we have that we can kind of build our ankle down and we can get these wraps going around the ankles bring those down into the foot and then what I want to do is just down here when I get to the foot we want that same kind of ninja style foot shape so that I can come and I'm gonna kind of redesign his sandals my way And just have that come out that way and then right in here have that foot shape come down again our sandal comes over okay so I'm gonna see a little bit of my big toe here and then just bring my toes back And we probably need to Yeah, we're gonna have to change the angle of that foot because that's 
not looking right. It should be turned out more. So let's bring this this way. And we can have more of the foot visible. So what I can do is we can have the toe turn this way. Just that way we're seeing more of the top of it. Okay, and I can still have my foot piece come down. And we'll bring the front part of that shoe and bring that in like that. It's a little bit better. It's not perfect, but it's not bad either. Okay, so come down. This way with this strap. Again, we're just kind of achieving these little ankle wraps that I come down into the shoe. And then a small little bit of the sole of the sandal. And come down that way and go towards the back. Okay. Now, some other little details, right? We still want that bit of the cloth to come out. So let me go ahead and we'll refine these fingers here. And we'll get a little bit, just as if like the hand is turning. Okay, so we want some of our cloth Come down this way. And we'll get that to turn. Um, and then we'll have a little bit of it curved back right here. Okay, so we'll get this to come up. just erase the line work inside right here okay so now that we have that we can add a little bit more depth have another piece of the cloth come this way and down and that'll work on that side. Now we also have some cloth in the back that we're gonna see. So I'm just really trying to get that free flow of line work in there. And then we can have it curve back this way. Show the fold under. Okay. Now some other little things I can work in here is we can work in these symbols on his vase or the jar. And I'm kind of curving it so that it fits. The shape of the bucket or the container of sand. Okay, and then we're just gonna put it's almost like a W, it's upside down. I don't really know what it means or stands for. Somebody in the comments, you can let me know. I really looked that aspect up. Maybe it's defined somewhere in some kind of Naruto wiki 
or whatever. Okay, and then we have more of a, like a rounded one up here towards the top. Let that go back, and again, it's almost like a W shape. Going like that. And then we have like these little cracks in the jar, right? So we want to work in those shapes. And it'll just look like we have cracks going into the jar. And it'll just give it that little bit of extra detail. Uh, we can add in a few more here. Uh, we don't want to go too crazy though, because I don't want to take away from a lot of what's going on. So we'll just leave it like that. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do. So I want the sand to be kind of spiraling around him, right? So we're going to kind of come out of the jar with the sand. Now, mind you, if you were going to color this later, you'd be able to make it the can the proper sand color. So mine may not, and it may look honestly more like smoke uh, when it's all done. Same idea as there. Okay, so we just kind of draw on it like it's flowing out of the sand itself, out of the jar. Okay, so I'm just kind of using lines to define what I want it to do. Kind of turn this this way instead, like that. Okay, let's do. I want it to kind of come this way. Let's erase that out so it looks like it's coming out of the jar. Okay, and then let's see, we will take it down this way just to add a little bit more life to it. Kind of curve it around. And let's stay close right here. out and then since it's spilling this way let's have like a kind of a split where it's wrapping around here like this and bring that back right and then we can come out from the hair this way, like that. Okay, but this is why I I really like John Guard. Uh, he's my favorite of all. Just the way the sand moves and comes to life really complements his outfit design as well. And it just you can just really make it look cool when you're done with it. Let's kind of shorten this one and make a kind of close the gap a little and go around just like that. Okay, now this part, let's bring that out 
and then just drop it here. All right, and then we'll come out this way and go down. Bring it back in towards the center. You can take this line, kind of shorten it a little bit, and just have that curve towards the edge here. You can give this a slight edge, just again, just to give it a little bit more depth to how the sand is turning on the body. Okay, we can bring this down this way. And then what we can do is we can make it forming into something, right? So we can come out and have it form into that hand, right? Just really use the flow lines of the sand. Okay, so I do the same thing here. Now we want, sorry, I was trying to think. We want some kind of separation in the palm. So let's make the fingers actually move. All right, so we go like that. Then as we come out to this last one, We turn that in that way. Okay. And a little bit of the hand come back there. Maybe have a piece. It's overlapping. Coming off. And then again, just back here. Like that. Okay, now we could add in little pieces of line work here to still kind of show the growth of the hand in the sand. Same thing with these lines. Just really want to kind of help assist with the flow. Of the hand here. Okay. So now that we have that we can now move into the process that I think is going to help it stand out more. We're going to ink it in. I'm just trying to look real quick and make sure there's anything that I'm thinking of that I'm missing. I think this is pretty good. Stand out. Let's do... And y'all correct me in the comments if you want, but doesn't he kind of like imbue his body with sand? It's been a while since I've watched, but... Like, doesn't he have like little cracks on his face from where uh, I think it was Rock Lee that was fighting him and he kind of his face was kind of cracking a little bit so I'm going to do that I'm going to put a couple of these cracks on the skin there Okay, then we're going to move into inking this thing. Well, before I start the inking, 
I want to add in a little something on the uh, around the collar. I think I want to put like a little little shirt here. Just so it doesn't look like he's not wearing anything underneath there. So let's do that. Okay, and now I can come in and start inking this. I'm going to do the same thing I did with my Naruto one. I'm just going to kind of come in and go over my line work and at the part where there's these creases you know kind of thicken that up a little bit so if you have like a black ink pen or one of these sharpies you can get that to work that way but yeah uh, while I'm doing this this one again just thank everybody for subscribing uh, I really like us to get up to 500, and it's for no other reason than to open up that community tab. For some weird reason, YouTube's got this thing where you can't like do polls for asking questions or posting updates and stuff in the community tab unless you're up to 500. And I just think it'd be easier for me to communicate with you guys and ask you what you want to see if I'm able to have that community tab open so let's try to shoot for that but thank you though to the 270 plus that have subscribed that is really awesome it's 270 students I get to have that I love and again I am not the greatest artist on the planet I consider myself to be okay I'm always learning new things and trying to get better so the fact that you're here just learning anything from me to at least help you get started with your own art you know path is is really the goal because um, my goal is like I said for all of you to be better than me and push yourself to those top tier artists that you see on YouTube or in your favorite comic book uh, and just see you achieve your goals and aspirations through that um, but yeah I really 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 do appreciate you guys coming by and, and learning um, and remember you can always share your work with me on Twitter I would love to see what some of you guys are coming up with just to see how far you're progressing Uh, but yeah, it's really been cool, and I feel blessed that you're even here watching the videos. Okay, so like I said with the inking right now, I'm just going to be basically retracing everything I just drew. Now I usually get these little Sharpie pens. Um, but you can get, there's other inking pens out there that you can get that, you know, maybe allow for better control. I always try to do these things like, you know, how can you do your art on a budget and these pens aren't that expensive. Uh, also, if you just have a black ink pen, that works too. But you just want to make sure you're really careful so that you don't, you know, I can't erase this ink. So if I go around and I, I mess up, it's, it's it's there. There's nothing I can do about it to fix it. So just make sure you're careful as you're going around. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I watched Naruto uh, when it first came out. I also liked uh, Gara from the start. Like as soon as they introduced him, that kind of menacing look and the way they like I said they designed his eyes and just that control over the sand and that battle between him and 
Rock Lee was obviously epic. It definitely goes down in anime history for me. It's one of those best, you know, tournament type fights that they had uh, in the show. But Gara just always stood out as like the coolest like character design. So, like I said, when I got that request to do Naruto last week, it made Gara pop in my head, and I was just like, "Ah, oh, shoot! I really, really would love to try and do my version of Gara. I think that would be cool." So here we are. And always, for now, since I can't do the community tab, what would be really helpful is if you guys can just leave me something down in the comment section as to what you want to see me draw next. Um, always, you can ask anybody who's requested. I will fit it into my schedule for things to do for the next week. But yeah, you can just let me know, and I'll have no problem working it into the next lesson. Or even if it's just something like this, like a, just a fun draw Friday video. You just want to see me draw anybody from any show. Or maybe even, you know, if you want to see something fun like uh, doing a, uh, like a swap thing. Like what if, uh, I don't know. Um, kind of show my age again but like what if Popeye was in you know Naruto or just any show that you like what if not uh you know um oh, what if Naruto was in the X-Men just whatever just something fun I could do that but you just gotta let me know down in the comments cause like I said I don't really have a way to communicate with you guys and I'm just kind of darkening up the shoulder line that's coming through on the shirt right there yeah so I really enjoy making these videos and the fact that you guys stop by okay so I'm just gonna continue to work my way around um, what I'm gonna do is just to kind of save time a little bit on the video so I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up I promise I will stop it when it gets to something um, important uh, that I'm changing or doing. So right now I'm just going to be retracing this picture. So I will check back in with you guys in a couple seconds. Maybe a minute. Depends how long the <laughs> sped up version is. But yeah, I'm going to see you guys in a minute, alright? All right, so now, now that I have that in there, what I can do is a little cleanup first. Okay, now you want to be careful when you take your eraser with some of these pens because depending on what you bought, it might smudge it. So if you used a regular ink pen, you just have to be really careful. But I'm just going to go in here and clean this up by getting rid of all of the sketchy lines that I left by my pencil. Okay, and what that'll do is it'll clean it up. Like, see, I almost, <laughs> you want to make sure you traced everything, I almost erased my finger right here. All right. But what that'll do is it'll clean it up, make it look nice and fresh without being too sketchy. Have nice line work in it. Right, so see how that's cleaning that up. So you just go around your image. You wanna, I mean, you wanna put a, some pressure on it, but you don't wanna put a lot. Just enough to make the pencil marks go away. Right, so we're almost done with that. Okay. Alright, so as you can see, 
We have nice clean uh, inked lines on here. Yeah, of course, this last thing I want to touch on is certain things. If they're black, like so, his outfit right is. If you look at the original one, is more on the uh, the black side. Um, so I'm obviously not going to color in the entirety, but like these little symbols on the jar. I can take these and fill these in. If you want to do that with a colored pencil or marker or whatever, however you're coloring this image when you're done. Um, if you just want to take a black, you could, uh, if you're not inking at all, and you were just going through and just kind of like refining your lines like I was doing with the ink pen, um, you can do that as well. But we're just going to kind of go in and make those black so that they stand out. Okay, I might come in here that little sideways E or W shape, whatever it is. I'm going to fill that in too. Okay, and then I just have this one up here at the top. Alright, just get that little W shape. Okay, so I have that nice and complete there. I can do the last part. Now, you don't have to do this, but again, I like to do it because it makes it pop. But also, since we are drawing an anime slash manga character, it does kind of suit the style. But we're going to go around and just thicken any outside edges. So outside edges only. So like things that have these negative space in here. And then just the outside of the character itself. So you're going to see when it's all done. It'll kind of pop off the page a little bit. You just want to take your time, follow that around. I cannot stress that enough. Good art takes time, so take your time on your artwork. Okay, don't rush it. Don't be in a hurry. Whatever it is you do, if you want it to look good, don't be trying to draw an entire picture in 10 or 15 minutes. Really take your time, put into practice anything that you've learned. Any techniques that you like to put in there, make sure you really focus and hone in on those things. And you'll be able to produce some pretty decent artwork. Like I said, I wouldn't consider this to be top tier. I think it looks decent. But of course, you know, we as artists, we're our own worst enemies. So, you know, let me know what you think down in the comments if I did good going Gara in my style or not but yeah uh, and like I said earlier in the video if you guys have ideas for these fun draw Fridays or anything feel free to let me know down in the comments because it's the only way I can communicate with you right now uh, but yeah let's see if we can get some good discussion and ideas going for these drawing days, whether they're Monday art lessons or Fun Draw Fridays, Tiny Tuesdays, whatever. Just let me know down in the comments. If you just want to chat, just let me know some of the things that you struggle with. Um, 
anything that you've been working on yourself trying to get better at, I'd love to hear it. I got no problem sitting down and chatting with some of y'all. Uh, but with anything, if in the comments, you know, if we can just be respectful towards, you know, each other. I'm always going to be positive and respectful to everybody who comments on there. And I don't mean positive, like you got to get on there and go, oh, yeah, your art is the greatest, and you don't really like it. That's not what I mean. Constructive criticism, right? Like you could say, hey, man, looks cool, but your eyeball's a little wonky. Or, you know, I think it would have been cooler if you'd have made the sand do this. Or, you know, just anything. Constructive feedback, right? I don't mind people telling me my artwork's not good. It's not the problem. It's how you tell someone their artwork's not good. Nobody's artwork can completely be horrible. There's got to be one positive in there. So I always try to lead with a positive or end with a positive. And that's, that's not for me, but that's for anybody on YouTube or real life who wants to show or share their passion for something with you. Just be positive. Find yourself a little bit more happier too. But you'll see you get a lot better open communication when you have a little bit of positivity in your comments. So, But... I got thick skin. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you don't like my work. It's okay. I'm just glad you stopped by to say hi. All right. So this is going to be the tougher part. It's going to take a little time. But as you can see, I'm just thickening those edges up to make it pop. You can already tell by this side of the page how it's sticking out more. So if you're new to the channel, that is something that I do all the time. Uh, and it's it's optional. It's not something you have to do. It's just something I choose to do because I think it makes it stand out as well as if I wanted to, let's say, color this with some alcohol markers or um, colored pencils or just anything in general. These nice thick lines give me a good border of knowing not what to go past. It'll stand out against any colors that I do put on. So it won't swallow and drown all that artwork that I just put all this time into drawing with that line work. It won't take all that away. Okay. So let's get this negative space in here before I forget about that. Just thicken up the edge on the nose outside like that so see how that makes it stand out against the sand and stuff that's in there okay and then what I'm gonna do is come back over here and finish working my way around And like I said before, I'd really love to see if you guys followed along how yours turned out. It'd be really cool uh, to see how well you did. Or you could surprise me. You could send me an image on Twitter and you could say, this is my version of Gara and my art style. You don't have to say it with that kind of emphasis, but <laughs> just let me know. Like I said, I'd love to see it. Alright, so we're going to work our way around. I am going to do something with these claws because he was able to actually solidify his sand into object-like forms, like claws and things. Um, and I would just assume that that was just an ability based off of uh, him having complete control over the density of the sand. So I am going to color in those claws black, but I'm going to leave a little bit of a highlight on there just so, you know, we can still see it. It's not just jet 
solid black. So as I work my way around to that, I'll finish off the hand first. Then I will fill that in. Okay, so we're almost there. Let's go around the hand. And once I get up here, we're going to go back to the nails. Look right here. Okay. So what I want to do is start filling this in, but I want to have some a little bit of streakage to it, so that's why I kind of made the shape that I did. Um, but it just will allow it to stand out as a highlight. on the claw itself so see how that kind of sticks out so I want to kind of do the same over here maybe leave a little bit right there at the top too We'll just fill that in nice and dark. It doesn't have to be completely covered. I mean, should be able to tell that there's a glare on there. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here. A little bit of a highlight right here on the edge. Just like that and then we'll of course do this last one down here I'm probably only gonna do middle on this one just because the fingers turn down more and facing away from the light source so we just have that filled in like that okay then I can come back up here and continue to work my way around. Hit up the edge by the hair here. I'm slowing down a little bit because I don't want to accidentally like, go inside the hair. That can lead to a whole other mess of problems if you mess that up. Okay, so just keep it nice and thick around there. Thick up like where that fold was. Right. And I can continue down. All the way down my cloth. And we are almost to the finish line with Gara. Now this is a longer video, but like, if you guys want videos like this, where they're cool with, you know, more detail in them, then you're just gonna have to bear with me on the length of them. I, mean, I can easily just draw this in pencil and leave it be, but it won't have nearly as much detail and stand out as it does 
with a lot of the inking. So that's something that you don't want to see. And you want me to speed it up and just keep it all in pencil. That's fine. I can do that. If that's what you guys want. Okay, just going to go around this foot. And we are done. That's going to do it for a fun draw Friday. Again, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. It'll help you out. Uh, other than that, if you enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comments. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something drawing Gara here with me today. Until next time, y'all keep sketching, and I will see you in the next one. All right? Bye.